Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 6 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. So as I promised on Thursday, uh, today I'm going to show you a uh, fully functioning uh, fission reactor. So let's come through here. Uh, I had a bit of a mishap here in the uh, in the turbine room for the uh, high temperature gas reactor. Some mobs got in here and damaged the turbine. So I shut it down for now while we uh, turn that off. While we uh, gonna fix it later. But uh, this is what I've added on to the base now. Is uh, I think this is this pretty cool area. So we've got a walkway all the way around. And then uh, right in here we've got the reactor. Now uh, after I built this room. <laughs> I realized it wasn't quite big enough, uh, so I just took the turbine way up at the ceiling. <laughs> but whatever, I'm going to repurpose this room later, but for now it makes a good enough place to show off the fission reactor. So if I just flip the switch, I had turned off the steam vent. So you can see it's producing steam. So uh, fission reactors. This is a fully functioning, and I know I'm going to have really low FPS here. I don't know why. This world is progressively getting worse and worse on the FPS, so I'm, I'm really apologize for that. I think there are some messed up water blocks outside that might be doing it. Anyway, this is a uh, six core linear reactor. So we've got six fuel cores, fission fuel cores, all in a straight line. And then we've got uh, 12 steam boilers, six on each side, next to those, followed by six neutron reflectors on each end of that, as well as two more neutron reflectors, one on each side. And I've just filled the, the form in with some steel blocks just for, for looks, but you don't need that. Um, now this is pretty darn safe because these neutron reflectors, will I, they have a 25% chance to reflect the neutrons back into the reactor. Uh, and the other 75% of the time, they absorb it. So they're 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 really good as far as uh, uh, radiation shielding, neutron shielding, preventing the neutrons from escaping. Because remember, if you let neutrons fly out of here, uh, they'll cause all kinds of havoc in the world. Well, they can. So these six cores and these 12 uh, steam boilers are uh, more than perfectly enough to run this turbine at uh, full power. You see, it's, it's already come up to, um, well, it's getting up to full power. It's not quite up to the 950, up to one megawatt, I mean, up to one uh, gigawatt that it can get pretty close to. Um, and you'll notice I've got some uh, stuff attached to it. Um, I am automating the input of the um, uh, uranium uh, fuel pellets, as well as the extraction of the uh, depleted uranium by using applied energistics, which this is what I would do. Um, if, if I was playing in Monster Mod Pack. Now, obviously, if you're only using Reactor Craft, you're going to have to probably maybe use um, those pneumatic pipes, pneumatic item pumps. You know, one of them pointing down from each core. You have to put a bunch of DC motors on it. So what we've got here is we've got our ME, just a tiny little ME system for this demonstration. Uh, we've got it stocked with uranium fuel pellets and then uh, the depleted uranium comes back into here because uh, I've got some item ducts. I don't know if item ducts are the best thing to use for this, but they work. Um, it's all I could think of. I tried, I was going to use uh, applied energistics, but I couldn't think of a way for applied energistics to put the nuclear waste in here without you having to hold some in your hand and actually put it in the thing. And obviously we don't want to touch nuclear waste with our hands. Um, so each one of these item ducts has a pneumatic servo in it and it is set uh, just to pull everything out. And then this uh, item duct goes into an ME interface pointed down into the chest. And this one is, I don't know if you need to do this, but I set it so that it only accepts depleted uranium. Again, I don't know if that's completely necessary. Also, in case you noticed, I am voiding the steam right now I have with this block underneath the dynamometer. Uh, since I already showed you how you can reclaim the uh, steam into water, I don't feel like building it again. So I've got uh, infinite water sources set up with reservoirs that I've whacked with a magic wand uh, for infinite water. So our pipe here that is pulling items out of these fuel cores um, is coming over here and piping into this spent fuel container. Now obviously this is just a small scale demonstration uh, and ignore those pipes down there, down here. They don't actually do anything anymore. I tried, I, I didn't, I tried to see if maybe I could get 
the stuff to come out of here and then go into the deep storage, but it doesn't do that. At least I couldn't figure it out. So what I've got here is a spent fuel container, and it's surrounded on all sides, well, almost all sides by water, uh, which is what you want, except for the top, which obviously has the pipe. And if I open it up, it's got some nuclear waste in it. 64 hours, 30 years, 30 years, 64, uh, 5 hours, 65 hours, 2 years, 2 years, and 2 years. Um, now, obviously, these nuclear reactors door, have different types of nuclear waste, and some of them have really, 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 really long half-lives, which is what we talked about before with the deep storage, well, it's not called deep storage, but the nuclear uh, waste disposal drums. There are, uh, I have nuclear waste disposal drums down there at the bottom of this uh, deep hole. You can't see them quite well from here, but trust me, they're down there. I've got about nine of them down there. I'll hook it to this pipe. I don't know if it's a good idea, but that's what I did. And I find that if you hook it up with these item ducts uh, like this, it will actually send, I don't know if this is completely 100% foolproof, but it does seem to actually send the long-lived stuff that goes in it down there, and then the short-lived stuff uh, over here. There's probably much better ways to do this, but um, that's what I've got so far. Um, again, I was trying to think of ways that I could set up an automated system without needing to uh, first have the uh, uh, nuclear waste and place it into a filter because uh, that didn't seem like a very good idea. But this is the basic setup for a nuclear uh, a fission reactor. It's a very small fission reactor, but um, it does run a turbine, so it is very scalable. You could build multiple of these right next to each other. You could even use the same neutron reflector for, uh, for both sides. Um, obviously, there's probably some better reactors that can power more things than just taking m multiples of these. But this one right here runs a turbine just fine. Um, I might come out with another video uh, in future showing some more powerful designs. Um, if you look around online, though, you can find pe people talking and sharing their uh, fission reactor designs. And I'm not all that great at fission reactor designs. Um, I, I'm still not quite up to speed on uh, why it all works and, and how to uh, um, make them the most efficient. But this does work right here. Uh, this is not my design. I found this in a thread about reactor craft. Um, but yeah, that's it. So the, the main thing to remember with the fission reactor is that you do want the um, fuel cores, the boilers, to be touching the fuel cores because the boilers will get the heat from the fuel core by contact. But the fuel cores, they heat up based on the neutrons flying out of them and, uh, and, and hitting other fuel cores, which is why this works well because whenever a uh, neutron flies out of like this fuel core in this direction, it just goes. I don't actually know if the neutrons get absorbed by the reactor cores or if the f fuel cores or if the neutron will travel down this entire stack, but this reactor does work quite well. This reactor works the same. This is, it, it's just as good as a uh, nine core reactor that I tried to make, and it was definitely not optimized very well because this works just as well powering a single turbine. So, um, yeah. Fission reactors, they're, they're kind of tricky. Uh, so if you, if the best way, that, the best advice I have, if you want to uh, know if your design is going to work or not, is just to go into a single player creative test world and build it. And then just see if it runs for a long time or if it blows up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because um, these things can be a bit tricky. Especially on servers, it seems that various server tick problems and things can sometimes uh, destroy even the, the most safest reactors. But anyway, that's not a problem with the, the mod pack. That's a problem with servers. But um, So yeah, this is the fission reactor. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I probably will come out with another video showing a bigger one. But remember, as you get bigger reactors, you're going to want um, better systems. You'll notice that this reactor does not have any uh, control rods. This reactor is simply actively just cooled by the boilers, um, so you've got to make sure you have water in a system like this, because if your boilers run dry, and then these cores will overheat and blow up. So be very careful. If you don't have control rods, you've got to watch out that you don't, um, you don't let these cores overheat. So anyway, that's it for this video. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I know it's a quick one, and uh, sometimes steam does get, get away, even though I've got it mostly voiding from here. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the new room. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of square on the outside, but has this neat dome on top. And um, I'll, I'm probably going to repurpose this room, maybe just into some kind of atrium. Uh, I don't really think it makes a lot of sense uh, as far as a, a reactor room, but I wanted to add on to the base, and so I uh, stuck the fission reactor in here. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I've got some, I've got a big, uh, some project coming up uh, really soon that I'm excited about, and I'm hoping that this project really goes far. Uh, so expect a bit of content about that. Um, I, I'm sorry this video comes out so late on Tuesday, but I did have a bit of a busy day today. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. So I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.